Yo, what's good? Today we are going to talk about scratching and DJ music. We're going to learn about Grandmaster Flash all the way to DJ Premier, Jazzy Jeff, DJ Cash Money, and we're going to end in the early 2000s with DJ D Styles and Phantasmagoria. Hope you're doing well. I'm here at Goat Spirit Homestead doing my swingling on the swing. Woo! Um, welcome to week three, day two of News 360. Um, I'm out back of the crib at the homestead uh, on the swing that I actually just built for my son for his third birthday. So um, thought it'd be nice to come out and talk from the swing for a little bit. Uh, it was all gray out here and then the, the sun just came out. So uh, I apologize for the lighting brilliance, but I got all set up. I'm just gonna go for it, screw it. Um, although I may flop around as the sun flops itself, but um, anyways, yeah, we're going to talk about DJs and DJ music. I know we spent some time on Cool Herc and a little bit on Flash and Bambata um, a few units ago, and then we really moved to talking about uh, rap music, um, you know, exclusively. So we're kind of backtracking a little bit, but I do want to emphasize DJ music and how it, you know, the concept of DJing became seminal to a lot of the production techniques and ideas that we talked about in the last unit um, about you know rap and authentic, street authenticity um, after disco rap and what happened largely throughout the 80s. So today I'm going to do um, start this off with a little introduction to um, DJ uh, technology, what a DJ setup looks like, kind of what everything does, because I think that really makes a lot of more sense as I start to talk about. Um, the concepts, the, pr the practice. So I'll talk a little bit about technique and technology, and then I'll do some demonstrations. So I'll demonstrate um, Cool Herc, uh, you know, Merry Go Round. I'll demonstrate just straight up, you know, DJ cutting with the same records, like straight up, like, you know, um, breakbeat cutting style from like the 70s. And then I'll do some modern stuff. You know, you can kind of just filter through that, take from it what you need and what you want, and jump jump through those videos if you find them helpful or care. But I do just flip a bunch of like Cool Herc break beats. Um, then I'll do other tutorials that will be peppered throughout. You know, that kind of show you Flash's quick mix theory and some of his techniques. I break those down. I'll show you uh, the chirp and the transform, which are Philly techniques, are largely accredited to DJ Jazzy Jeff, if you listen to the magnificent Jazzy Jeff. Um, you have a little bit of an idea about that. I'll show you phrasing, which I uh, give props to DJ Premier for, uh, at least popularizing. And we'll kind of just move through like some really important DJs and um, moments in DJ music. And a unit uh, further down the road, we'll, we'll actually get into more of turntablism. Uh, specifically, which is using the turntable as a musical instrument. Although for this week, I did ask you to listen to some music from uh, DJ D Styles' uh, Phantasmagoria, which is an album composed solely out of using turntables and records by a DJ scratching all of the rhythm patterns, all the melodies, all the lead phrasing, scratching, um, and all that. And I'd ask you to watch part of uh, a legendary battle with the invisible Scratch Pickles and the, um, the X-Men um, eventually become known as the Executioner. So we'll talk a little bit about DJ um, you know, music, technology, and technique, um, and hopefully we'll give you a good sense of a lot of the logistics and, and practices and ideas um, that go into actually you know, making um, you know, beats, you know, essentially, and where they came from. Um, all right, so watch a few videos where I break down uh, DJ technology, what, th what everything does, um, you know, the DJ setup, and then we'll, you know, you can kind of filter through some of the um, mixing, uh, cutting up uh, videos that I did where I kind of explained stuff for y'all.